COLD CASE CLOSED. MORE THAN 40 YEARS LATER, RALEIGH POLICE HAVE SOLVED THE RAPE AND MURDER OF A 77-YEAR-OLD WOMAN. CBS 17'S IMANI PAYNE TELLS US TONIGHT THAT WOMAN'S FAMILY IS GLAD TO FINALLY HAVE SOME CLOSURE IN THIS CASE. It's been so long since Alma Jones's murder, her house that it happened in doesn't even exist anymore. It's been replaced by this church parking lot. Still, her family glad to come back to this spot following a major break in the case more than 40 years later. The last time the Jones family stood in this spot on Sawyer Road, it was Christmas Eve, 1977. They embraced as they learned their loved one, Alma Jones, was raped and killed in her home here. It was rough. Well, it's a vision that sticks with you. When you walk in the door and see your grandmama stretched out and unclothed. And but today they embrace for a different reason, as they now know the person responsible for their pain. Just relief. Alma's case initially went cold back in the 70s until 2011 when Detective Jerry Falk stumbled across the case file. Teaming up with Othram DNA Lab based in Texas, crime scene evidence and a saliva swab from the suspect's family member helped to identify the killer. Uh, work with DNA evidence from these crime scenes that are very old. Um, that have very, very challenging DNA. So this is like going to be DNA evidence that would be probably um, not even accepted at other labs. Alma's killer now identified as Paul Crowder. He died in 2015 following a prison stint for unrelated crimes. He was the grandson of Alma's neighbor at the time and known around the neighborhood. Detective Falk now has this warning for suspects in other cold cases. Don't think that you've gotten away with it because, you know, you haven't. Alma's family says Alma was a baker and churchgoer who wouldn't hurt anyone. And as her case closes, they say it's fitting that a church now sits where Alma took her final breaths so she can now go home in peace. We know, have faith, and we just believe they have fulfilled their time here on earth. And that makes us just move forward. Everyone involved is hopeful that this new and constantly improving DNA technology will help solve even more cases in the future. Reporting in Raleigh, Imani Payne, CBS 17 News.